Hello, folks. Would you be okay with your child playing with something even slightly dangerous? Yeah, we can pretty much guess your answer. But here's the thing. Some so-called playthings from the past have caused actual harm to both kids and adults. And here's a list of 10 of the most dangerous toys that are banned forever. Let's get it on. Jaws Okay, so our first pick for today is the Snack Time Cabbage Patch Kids released by Mattel in the year of 1996. The idea behind it was good enough. Kids would be able to feed this doll, pretend food, and make playtime even more fun. What's more, they'd even be able to remove the wow. plastic snacks and reuse them. Pretty cool, right? Well, there was a big problem. The jaws. They were just too strong, stubborn, and they'd only stop the chewing motion once they'd finished eating. Obviously, this was a huge problem. Plenty of kids got their fingers or hair stuck inside the mouth as the doll continued chomping. Reportedly, one poor mom had to literally cut her daughter's hair to free her from this monstrous doll. Mattel soon pulled the toys after receiving over 100 complaints and even offered $40 refunds to around 500,000 people. Sheesh, what a disaster. <laughs> Magic Beans Okay, so pay attention, folks. This one was a huge scandal. Aqua Dots or Bindis were toys that allow kids to arrange beans in different patterns and then immortalize their creations by spritzing them with water, which would seal the beans together. The only problem? When ingested, the coating would release the compound GHB, which could slow down your breathing, heart rate, and make you extremely sleepy. It's obviously even more dangerous for kids. No less than three children went into comas after swallowing the super toxic pieces. And we have to say that's super devastating. As one would expect, there was a huge amount of uproar against the manufacturing company, Spin Master, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission ended up recalling over 4.2 million kits. Yikes! A CSI crossover with asbestos. Are you a fan of CSI? If yes, you're gonna wanna hear this. Back in the 2000s, CBS Corp released CSI fingerprint kits that would show kids how to dust fingerprints and in the process would blow away excess powder. This toy quickly got really, really popular. Because come on, which one of us didn't want to be a detective when we were young? But guess what? The dust was reportedly tainted with 7% tremolite, which is one of the most dangerous and toxic forms of asbestos. Even one-time exposure can cause cancer, lung diseases, and mesothelioma years later. Doesn't sound too fun now, does it? Don't play with fire. We're all super excited for Greta Gerwig's Barbie, right? But while we were collectively waiting for this highly anticipated film, let's talk about one of the biggest controversies surrounding the world's most famous toy. Back in 1991, they released the Rollerblade Barbie, which was known for its flashing skates. While this was done using harmless LED lights, these skates also literally fired out sparks if you scraped them over a metal surface. Obviously, exposing your children to sparks is kind of a terrible idea. This toy was soon declared to be a fire hazard and thankfully, Mattel recalled it before any kids were injured. Seriously, what were they even thinking? It's kind of baffling to imagine that anyone okayed this product. Jarts Lawn darts, aka as jarts, may actually be the most dangerous toys to ever exist. Honestly, it's shocking that these were even considered toys at some point. This was basically a game developed around the 1950s, in which metal spikes would be thrown with the aim of landing them in a circle placed a few yards away. So basically like horseshoes or cornholes, but way scarier. Unsurprisingly, from January 1978 to December of 1986 alone, they were responsible for almost 6,000 100 emergency room treated injuries. Most of the victims were under 15 years old. Plus, at least 10 or more kids actually died. We can't even begin to imagine how painful that must have been for the families. They were banned in 1988, but people continued to use them. It was only when the ban was reissued in 1997 and folks were urged to destroy these toys when the problem actually went away. Frightening Fairies 
Listen, we understand that people have been making toys for a long, long time now. To distinguish yourself in the market, companies probably feel like they need to do something innovative, creative, and get out there. But you just can't do that while ignoring the possible hazards your product could pose. Take these flying fairies called Sky Dancers, for example. So you could pull the cord on the launcher and the doll spins up into the air. It's easy to understand why kids would enjoy something like this, but much harder to grasp what got Loop Toy was thinking when they released this product. Inevitably, a bunch of these cute little dolls struck a bunch of children and adults. The company received 170 reports of injuries, including a broken rib, facial lacerations, one concussion, eye injuries, damaged corneas, temporary blindness, and even broken teeth. Jeez! In 2000, they were banned for good, and around 9 million of them were recalled. Easy Bake Oven the Easy Bake Oven might actually be one of the most popular toys of all time. But in May of 2006, Hasbro received a series of complaints following the release of a new version of the toy. Around 29 children got their fingers or hands stuck in its door, and worse, there were around 5 cases of serious burns. At this point, they started to look for a solution and replaced it with another model that included a plastic grate over the door. But things didn't get better from here. 249 more reports were lodged, including 77 burns. Plus, 16 of these were actually third or second degree burns. One particular case stands out. A five-year-old actually had to get part of her finger amputated because of the damage caused by the oven. After the manufacturing company found out about this, they recalled around 985,000 Easy Bake Ovens. Firearms for Children Back in the 1940s, a toy called the Austin Magic Pistol was introduced in the market. This projectile shooting device was designed to fire ping pong balls, but it did so with an extremely concerning force powered by literal explosive chemicals. So basically, it was a chemical reaction between calcium carbide and water that would deploy the projectile. The kids were actually playing with materials that could expand into acetylene gas and explode. This toy was so dangerous that some American states consider to be an actual firearm. You may be wondering why the company was allowed to put something like this out in the first place. Well, back then, the safety regulations around toys were basically non-existent and people could make and sell whatever they wanted. And this pistol was aimed to capitalize on the growing popularity of space-related toys. Fortunately, it was soon pulled and not many casualties were reported. Menacing Magnets Now everyone knows that kids love magnets. They're unique from other toys in the sense that they actually behave like they are alive, which can obviously turn out to be a problem. The magnetic set is a perfect example of this. If a child accidentally swallows more than one tiny magnet, this lodged from the building pieces, these objects could attract each other inside the body and cause serious perforations and blockage of blood supply to vital organs. If not treated immediately, this can lead to the victim dying within hours. Almost 1,500 cases of magnets separating from the building pieces were reported. Around 27 intestinal injuries and even the death of a 22-month-old child occurred because of this so-called toy. Yeah, a terrible, terrible idea all around. Clackers And next up on our list, Clackers. This super risky toy, produced in the early 1970s, basically consisted of two small and heavy balls tied together to a string. If you whirled them around, they'd produce a huge, ear-splitting clap that kids were fascinated by. Here's a fun fact for you. This product was inspired by boleadoras, which Argentine cowboys used to wrangle Andean mammals. These were originally marketed as being relaxing addictive, and a way to teach kids hand-eye coordination. They grew so popular that one small Italian province actually began hosting an annual clackers competition. Imagine that! But were they harmless? Absolutely not. 
first, the material was prone to shattering, which could send shards of tiny plastic pieces flying. Many kids around the world were hit with this material, and in rare cases, it even caused blindness because of damaged corneas. Plus, sometimes they'd literally explode. You can probably guess what happened next. They were banned, and parents were asked to destroy all existing versions. Alright, which of these toys did you find to be the most dangerous? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Trend Joint, and we'll see you in the next one.